All right, number seven, uh, we're given sets X, Y, Z, and the universal set. And we want to find the set, let me pull this down a little bit, find the set X after it is intersected with X minus Y. So that means we're going to take the parentheses part first, we're going to take the set X, take out the elements that are also in Y, and then we're going to find out what is left in X. So uh, this extra part, without this, this would be the same. Okay, the overlap should be the same. So I'm going to write set X first. E, B, C, A. We're going to take away Y and write it right below it. Um, e, F, B. E, F, B. All right, so E, we're going to take that away. And B, we're going to take that away. Okay, so X minus Y. So here's X. We took away the stuff that was in Y, and we're left with C, A. So the set X intersected with CA, what does it have in common with CA? Should just be the elements of CA because they were already in X. So basically we're looking at X which is E, B, CA. And then intersection is saying what does it have in common with this set when we subtracted Y, which was just C and A. Okay, so what they have in common is CA. So that would be your new set. So just CA. So this extra X intersect didn't change the problem at all. Now this one is going to be a little bit more of a challenge. We have X complement minus Y. So first let's find X complement. So we do that. I'm going to start with the universal set. The universal set is I, J, K, L, M, N, L, M, N, O. All right, so this is the universal set. Okay, so X complement is going to be everything that's in the universal set, but not in X. So let's find X complement. So according to this diagram, the things that are in X are I, K, M, O. So I'm going to take those out. I'm going to get rid of I, K, M, and O. Everything that is left is X complement. So I got rid of what was in X and everything else would be J, L, N. J, L N. I don't know why I keep switching between capital and lowercase, but it's something I just tend to do naturally. Okay, so J L N. This is X complement. And X complement, we want to take away the elements that are in Y. Okay. So Y has the set I J K. Okay, so I'm going to take away from X complement the elements that are in Y. So they both have J. And that is it. We have L and N left. I cannot take away an I because we don't have one. I cannot take away a K from this set. We don't have one. So your final would just be what's remaining in X complement 
which would be 